Welcome back to Sea of Thieves. Finally, a rare game. Uh, I went back and I became a, uh... Crocodile. I became Beast again. And this is outside the level. Outside of the level. I forgot a few words in there. What is up there? I forgot what this is up here. Your magic's gonna stop working. What do I do about that? I guess there's a secret for later or something. Can you not just go up there? Well, I don't want to try. I, I'm going to do this first. So Freeze Easy Peak is the next one. Um, right. No, Clanker's Cavern will be the next one. But I haven't found Clanker's Cavern's portrait yet. Why is there a picture of Banjo and Kazooie? I don't know. It's supposed to be an advent calendar. I, I didn't know that as a kid because I never did advent calendars. calendars. Did you? No. No. I'm a fucking American. Is that not an American thing? No. That is a str that's like a strictly European thing. No, it's not. He does, they, have, they have an advent calendar in Bad Santa. And they're American. They don't have Santa over there. See, you use the boots to get up there. Oh. What a good boy. Oh, I can come here as Banjo. What happens to Kazooie during these transformations? Um, they fuse. It's it's like a form of alchemy. He takes the spirit of two and melds them into one, and that's that that that's the cost for transformation. Right now, she's screaming, tortured in the spirit realm until Banjo comes back. I've never actually fully seen Full Metal Alchemist, so I don't know if you're like actually saying a thing that happened in Full Metal Alchemist. I mean, I'm not necessarily referencing Full Metal Alchemist. That's kind of what the idea I had was. Have you ever watched all of it? I didn't watch all of it, but I know the... I was hooked on the... God damn, you see that? Yeah. All the, all the particle effects. Um, you've seen, like, the first few episodes, right? Yeah. Like, where they... Because, like, what, what... Like, I remember the day that came on Adult Swim. I was like, okay, a new show. I'm going to catch the beginning of the show, and then I'm going to see if I like it, and I'll get into it. And, because uh, I wanted to try something else. And I saw the first episode, and I, was, and I was like, holy shit, this is fucking cool. Where are the fucking boots? Oh, they're in there. Because, like, the first episode is, like, fucking metal as shit. It's got them, like... Um... Oh, wait, no, the first episode did not have, uh, the backstory. That was when they were in, uh... Some town. That was, like, they was... And then they flashed back, uh, a couple episodes back. At least on the old series. Yeah, I haven't watched it for the I know I want to. I got pissed at Chandler. Because... Uh... Oh, God. Oh. I played... Greenbird for her. From... That's all this was. Oh, my God. You gotta come back here as an alligator. We'll do that later. You could have probably did it. No, you probably couldn't have, because they want you to come here as Banjo. Wait. There's another pair of yeah. boots up there. Anyway, I played her Green Bird from Cowboy Bebop. Which is the song that plays when Spike gets thrown out of the window in, like, episode 5. I... I haven't, like, cohesively watched that series. You should. It's very good. Uh, it, it's been on, like, my backlog. It's, it's, a, it's never incredible. Look at. It's, it is my favorite anime. I mean, like, I, when, I, when, I would, like when it would, like, come up on, on Adult Swim, I would watch it. Yeah, but the sure. thing is, the, the issue with Adult Swim is, like, I feel, I feel like they only showed, like, the first five episodes, or the first, like, four episodes repeatedly. Um, I remember an episode about Mushroom. Was a, oh, wait, no, an episode about a fungus that, that was on the ship. Uh, an episode about some disc that people were looking for the meaning of or something. An episode about an old lady, <laughs> and she presses a button. That's all I remember. I think it had something to do with rats. Um, I had enough for that, didn't I? Yes, you did. I was wondering why you left. Anyway. An episode where they found Ed. 
I remember that they showed that on Adult Swim a lot. And when I went back and I watched the series in order, I was like, oh my god, they get Ed way later than I thought they did. An episode... Not much later, mind you, but... An episode where they all get high. Anyway, I'm missing the point. We, I played her Greenbird, which is a very lovely song with a uh, song by a children's choir and she's like I don't like that that's creepy and I was like you're creepy fuck you that I love that song but I also had the like the context of when when the song is played yeah so, like, I kind of understood where it was coming from. If I had heard that without having seen that scene, maybe I would be... Less interested? Yeah, because, I mean, it's still a children's choir. Uh, <laughs> and that's, like, that's kind of creepy. Like, I, 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 yeah, I can kind of see where she's coming from. But. I've said this about... Uh, I don't know if I ever said it on the show or not, but, like, the, the soundtrack to Lisa, the video game, uh, I've listened to it before and after playing the game. And like my opinion on it completely did a 180 after playing the game. Yeah. I was like, I, I don't. What the fuck is this soundtrack? This is stupid. None of this is good. I but still, I'm still gonna play the game. I still haven't played the recent. It's really good. And the soundtrack, like, is that a game we could play on here, like we did Undertale? Mm. Oh god. Uh, maybe it's. I mean, it's it's a lot of dialogue, but I don't want to. I'm not gonna put effort and make voices for everybody. If we do, but it's still it's still a relatively fun game. It's got a crazy uh, soundtrack, mostly like weird fucking trap beats and stuff. I shouldn't have come here. Break that. I can't. This is a this is a this is a level entrance. So with those boots, can Kazooie not fly? You see that graphical glitch? Yeah. No. When I was little, <laughs> when I was little, I used to run around like that through the house, like boots. Like okay, where the where the boots? Oh, they were in there. Um, I think I don't know what I would do. I feel like I would like pull up my my pants real high and just like run around taking really long strides, like this. And I and I would I would go. I I did that as a kid. Kids are fucking dumb. I know. Tell me about it. We haven't done anything this episode. I'm. Where did I come from? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know this game. I can't help you. Where's Clanker's Cavern's portrait? I don't know. <sighs> it's got to be somewhere really obvious. I'm like way further I... than I should be. Because I found it. Well, guess what? We can do Freeze Easy Peak. Yeah, go do Freeze Easy Peak. I'm okay with that. Just do something. Like, I'm just, like, searching through my brain. It's like the beginning of a brain blast, like a Jimmy Neutron where it goes in his ear. And it's, like, piecing together pieces of, like, the episode that happened today. And I cannot find it. The brain blast isn't happening. Where the fuck is it? It's not here. Well, yeah, it's, I don't think it's gonna be here. Because, I mean, you've done it before. Well, I can't do that, I guess. Uh, you gotta go find Clanker's Cavern. You don't want me to do Freeze Easy Peak? We gotta find Clanker's Cavern. That can be this episode. We'll just talk about dumb shit. It is valuable. To talk about dumb shit, I agree. Yeah, I mean, that and uh, go Clanker's there. Cavern. Go up there. I'm gonna go here first, because there's a cauldron. There's not a cauldron. There's a cauldron in there. But what do I do? Speaking of dumb anime, um, Chandler's been watching uh, Sailor Moon. Yeah, she's been saying that on Twitter. And I watched an episode with her. I thought I remembered some of Sailor Moon. I think it was because we watched the, the American dub, because that was... That came on after school for us, right? 
That came up before school. At least for at least when my brother watched it, I didn't watch it as a kid. My Sailor brother, Moon would I would watch it at my grandmother's after after school. I just remember getting up in the morning and my brother. Is that it? Wants to get up like. Is that it? What? Go to your right. This. Yeah. This leads backwards, but I probably should be going backwards. Okay. Uh, Go inside of that fucking tube right there. This tube right here does not lead to Clanker's Cavern. We've been in here, remember? No. There's there's him, and I got stuck behind here. There's 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 an Econ Pokemon up here. Okay. And above it is the entrance to Clanker's Cavern. But you're trying to find the portrait. Yeah. So up here No, no. Go down. Go back. That's Go uh, down there. Jolly Lagoon, man. What is it called? Is there not a... Can you not swim? Yeah, I can. Where does that... Is that does that lead anywhere? Under the water? Uh, the, down there leads to the Click Clock Wood portrait, which is the way later. This is the last level, actually. It's definitely not going to be in here. Okay, that was... That's Jolly Roger. Treasure Trove Cove. That's what oh, wait, that's hey. what it is! There! It's definitely not going to be in here. I'm sorry. And you know, a weird detail, uh, a lot of like the level entrances, like, they have eyes on them. That's just something to let you know that's all, that's the way to a level's lobby. I did not know that. Okay, I did that. And it's Clanker's Cavern! Just the one new move to find this time. But it's hidden well. So do your cats do the, uh... the hunt with each other thing? Hmm. Elaborate. I, I don't know if it's a behavior of like. Uh, I could have told you that was there. I knew it was there. I thought I was trying to kill it. Um, it may be just a behavior of older cats with kittens, but like, older cats will pretend to not notice the kitten and like let the the kitten pounce them oh, to like yeah. teach them how to hunt. We haven't had a kitten in a long time, though. We've every we've always had kittens. Like every time we got a cat, we get a kitten. Um, I can't remember the last time I've had a kitten. And so, like Luna, when we got when we got Luna, Yuffie did that for her. Yeah. And let her hunt her. And now we have Zuko. Luna's doing it uh, to Zuko. And it's fucking, it's adorable as fuck. Well, yeah, because they're cats. Everything a cat does is fucking they could adorable. Be, they could arrange a fucking mariachi band and keep you up at night, but it'd still be cute. What would you do? What, okay, no, cats? No, seriously. Like, you wake up, you hear mariachi music, and it's like, fucking Chandler left something on, or, or like the cats turned on like the TV by accident or something. And you come out, and your cats are all arranged out here. They're they're all dressed up. They got sombreros, and they're just playing along. They're just playing fucking mariachi music. What would what would you what what, what would your first reaction be? Record it. As soon as you take out the camera, they like you come back, and they're all just doing their own thing. Just you know, cat stuff. Okay, then I go back to sleep. I assume it was a dream. Right. It never happened again. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I will assume it's a dream then. But it felt so real. I have had dreams that felt- No, no, you wake up <laughs> the next morning and Chandler's like, Did- Were you playing mariachi music? I will chalk it up <laughs> to a YouTube ad that played while on our YouTube playlist while we sleep. Okay. That, that's a healthy way of doing it, I guess, instead of pursuing what could possibly be a hallucination. I don't see Zuko here being very talented at- Music. He's kind of a fucking doofus. 
What would you do if you came home and he was wearing an eye patch? I think it would be dope as fuck, and I'd ask Chandler where she got it. She doesn't know. She thought you'd put it on him. He wouldn't put on an eye patch. Well, in this hypothetical situation, he did. Well, because he has to capture the avatar. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Zuko doesn't wear an eye patch in, in the show. He's just got a fucked up eye and he deals with I it. I don't care! It's a good show, BJ. You should fucking watch it. Have it on fucking Blu-ray. I don't like it because you like it. <laughs> At least you're honest! Everything will be boring if we like the same thing. You should watch Avatar, though. I got it on Blu-ray. You think we can kill him? Oh, I, I, thought, I thought it would work. It's got a really good story. And it's really cool. Bending is cool as shit. Well, Bending is my middle name. I'm gonna do something scary. Oh, don't do it. Oh, don't do it. No! No! Don't do it! That's not cool. Where's Gloop? Where's Gloop? Where's Gloop? I need Gloop. Where's Gloop? What the fuck are you talking about? I need Gloop. What are you fucking talking about? Gloop! What do you mean? Where are you, Gloop? Is that Gloop? You gotta grab the air bubble or you're gonna fucking die! Gloop. Oh, God. Okay. Listen to the music when you're down here. Why? It's only this spot, this part, that adds that weird little screech. Why is it like that? Because it's like the scary part. Not that scary. Yeah, yeah but like, loop. when you're- when I was a kid, this was a scary part. Like, just because, like, it was hard to do. Because it made you swim all the way down here on limited oxygen. And, you know, you're a kid, so you can't comprehend 3D space. Well, you freed Clinker. Yep. Oh, God! He's got blood all over him. Yeah, he's half man, half machine. On the cover of a magazine. Sasquatch is my daddy, and he's going to protect me. Uh, uh, you know. I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that reflection! It's pretty weird. Did they render that on a NIT64? Yeah. Holy shit. It's not like an actual reflection, though. It's just like... It's like doing exactly just what's on the screen. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Now, Conker's Bad Fur Day. Now, that, they did reflections. In some key spots. I was uh, watching uh, the new boundary break on Pokemon X and Y. And at the beginning of the game, there's a mirror. And it does one of those things where it just creates an entire room oh, yeah. for your character to walk in. That, that's really common in, a, in games where, like, mirrors aren't normal. So Right, but the thing is, is that your house, where your mirror is in X and Y, is, like, it's a cell, and, like, both of the rooms that are in it are in within the same cell. Yeah. So, like, when you go downstairs, the other room isn't created, but your other self goes downstairs, too, and, like, there's an empty black space that it's walking around in. Oh. Whenever you do it. I thought that was neat. Can you hit that? Hit what? Like, can you poke at his, uh, blood spots and he gets mad? Uh, blood... In the original version, blood would actually come out of the N64 when you did that. It's kind of fucked up for a kid's game. Yeah. Ah, oh, it's eyes! Oh yeah, I shoot it with an, with an egg. The gold tooth? Yeah. Now, I didn't know about this for the longest time. Because you can get in other ways. I watched a uh, Strider 7X video. And now YouTube is constantly recommending me Paper Mario glitches. Oh yeah, I, I, I go through kicks of watching his videos sometimes. Now what's on the other side? Nothing. Yeah, I can just... I love... Oof. 
Yeah, I, I honestly I find those videos fucking interesting as shit. Yeah, they're pretty cool. And it's odd that he's able to sustain his channel on a single video game. Sometimes he goes into Thousand Year Door, but like that's it. I mean, uh, Pen and then and then Cock and Coke. He do, uh, he do Mario. Mario 64. Mario 64. Oh god, this is timed. You having a good nap? What the fuck? Why, what, what is Eno about that? Oh, I just go through the green ones. Where's green? Green! I hear him purring. Duke asked the dumbass question the other day. Did he say, do birds think? No, he said, um, do cats purr louder as kittens because they're smaller? And I was like, no fucking shit. <laughs> I mean, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, doof. Oh, Dof! <laughs> oh, I missed. Uh, Dof of these that seems nuts. like a legitimate question to ask. What? That's the. That, yeah, it makes sense, but I've never wondered it. I've just always like, oh, kittens are just purr louder. There's less surface area for. The, I mean, for look, the, like there's there's there's, purrs to there's more through. purr box to flesh ratio. And I'm, I'll never say purr box again. Don't worry. That's a one-time deal. So we're almost done with Jack and Daxter. Yeah. We've got another game in store for you guys. We'll give you a hint. It's Cuphead. <laughs> <laughs> Make of that as you will. We've never... Well, I can't say I've never played it, but... I've never played it. Uh, I, I beat two bosses. Was it hard? Was it the Dark Souls of games that look like old cartoon? No. no. Once you finish this room, we need to... We need to, we need to go thing. rub one out. Is that what you're gonna say? Yeah. I didn't, I didn't you know, really want to go all out there with it, but I mean, Alright, well, we I, can, we can rub one out later. I already revealed Cuphead, so... You've been holding it in for the reveal. Um, oh, I go down this way. It has a theremin when you're inside Clanker. Oh, this has the screech. So I guess it's only when you're underwater. Why did you leave? Um, there, that's all I could do in that specific room. So next time on, um, you know what, I'll get these notes. Okay. Next time. Oh my god. <laughs> <Could> you please. <laughs> burr, burr. Next time on uh, Donkey Kong Country 2 Diddy's Conquest. Um, 